If any of you are having second thoughts, this is your last chance to speak. Very well. So I hope we're all clear on what has to be done. We need to free the hostages to deprive Toth of his advantage. Now he'll be keeping them somewhere where they can be guarded, but somewhere separate from his other men. And where would that be? We always kept our captives in the house on the bailey by the stables. Uh, what if they're in their tower or, or somewhere else? Then we'll have to go to the gate and try to open it. But that will take time and attract attention. So we can only do it if we know exactly how things stand. And if they sound the alarm, before we've done anything, we get out of there quick. Understood? And leave them there? Better a couple of hostages than a pile of corpses. Lord Capon, are you quite certain you want to engage in this action? Quite. After all, it can't be much different from sneaking out of the upper castle in Ratte and back in every night. <laughs> Besides, who else will keep this hothead from raising bloody mayhem? Well, see to it that you do, my lord. May God guide our footsteps. Sentries, wait here. What are they waiting for? Quiet, for fuck's sake. What are they waiting for? How should we know? Why do I bother asking? Oh, be quiet and watch that light on the battlements. Put on his armor and watch this side. But there are still two guards on the portcullis winch to deal with. Any volunteers? Henry will do it. Buffoon. Henry, then. Just make sure you keep quiet. Fuck. You're in the wrong place. At the first and take out the sentries. Wait here. What are they waiting for? Quiet for fuck's sake. What are they waiting for? How should I know? Why do I bother asking? Oh, be quiet and watch that light on the battlements.
put on his armor and watch this side, but there are still two guards on the portcullis winch to deal with. Any volunteers? Henry will do it. Buffoon? Henry, then. Just make sure you keep quiet. We can't get this moving without being noticed. First, we have to find the hostages. It'll all go a lot easier if no one sees us. And fooling around with the portcullis is bound to draw attention. First, we have to find the hostages. Then we can come back and deal with the rest. Easy now. We're almost there. Let's not fuck it up at the 11th hour. lead to the courtyard. All it takes is for one man to go for a piss and he'll see us. Any time now. Patience. He has to move. Jesus. Get a fucking move on, man. We're Sir Ratzik and Lady Stephanie. L Lady Stephanie? She's not here. She must be held somewhere else. Where? Where is she being held? And where's Sir Ratzik? I suppose the lady might be in her chamber. We don't know anything. They herded us here and told us not to move a muscle. Take care now.
Damn it all. We'll have to go back empty-handed. I really thought we could pull it off. We're not going anywhere. Not without my father and Lady Stephanie. And how are we meant to find them? They're not in the stables or anywhere nearby. You want to creep right inside the palace where Tot's men are everywhere? Yes. We can't leave them in Toth's hands. It was hard enough getting this far, but going inside is madness. What good will it do them if we get caught? Then we mustn't get caught. Listen, Hal, I can appreciate your stubbornness, usually. But this could cost us our heads. At least we save those other people. I suppose you're right. It would be foolhardy to go on. Oh, I'm glad you've come to your senses. Let's get the hell out of here, then. Come on, then. Let's get the fuck out of here before they catch us. <laughs> Gorova! Fuck my ass! Oh, fuck! Oh, Henry! I'll have to carry him out of here Henry, right now. Henry, get me out of here! And stop telling everyone what an idiot you are! They're right behind us. But he's behind you. They're in front of me. And I can't do anything. Run! For Christ's sake, and don't shake me so much. Faster! Run! For Christ's sake, and don't shake me so much. Faster! If you don't get a move on, they'll stab you in the back, right? I have to admit, we didn't do too well. True. The shame of it. They drove us back before we even got anywhere. It's worse than if they'd killed us. <laughs> well, I wouldn't go that far. We had to give it a try. If we succeeded. If pigs had wings. I know it troubles you, but it's not over yet. We'll rescue the hostages and hang that bastard Ishvan. It seems, Robard, that we're running out of options. We don't have enough men to scale the walls with ladders. We can't afford to lose any more. We can only take Talmberg by a ruse or with superior numbers. Ruses have failed, and we don't have superior numbers. Then we are left with no choice but to build a trebuchet. To demolish my own walls. <sighs> Where is Master Faithor? He's waiting. We sent for him as soon Bring as... him to me. Let's not waste time. Sir Divi. You will build me a trebuchet, Master Tobias. Uh, uh, a trebuchet, my lord? That's not uh, entirely in my field of expertise. We have to take back Talmberg. Yes, indeed, sir. I understand and that. you but... are the best engineer we can rely on in the whole fiefdom. Oh, well, thank you, my lord. But it's, it's just that I've never built a trebuchet before. It's, this could take some time. Then you'd better get to it. Bernard will go over the plan of attack with you. Uh, I... Uh... Uh... Oh. Well, Master Tobias... You have much to do in little time. I will not keep you any longer. Indeed. Of course, sir. Thank you, my lord. How are the preparations proceeding in the other camps? As well as can be expected under the circumstances. There are still many things that need doing, but I just don't have the time for them. Mm. No, you don't. Henry. Yes, sir. I would like for you to help with the preparations in the encampments. Gladly, sir. Robard will brief you. That'll be all.
What needs to be done? Look, a military encampment's a complicated thing. I don't expect it to be as peaceful and orderly as Holy Mass. But what we have here now is havoc. The men are as nervous and short-tempered as caged bears. When you walk around the camps, you'll see for yourself. Grumbling everywhere, complaints about everything from the gruel to the fleas. They're moaning they've drunk the alehouse dry, and now they have to wait for the next batch of beer. <sighs> We've got dead who deserve a decent burial, and a lot of wounded, including one of their lordships. The less the troops grumble, the better off we'll all be. But that's not even the main problem. What do you mean? Did you hear what Sir Divish was saying to Fafar, our master builder? I heard some of it. And what did you make of it? He said he'd never built a trebuchet catapult. I wouldn't even know where to start, but he might. But, if it'll take him as long as he said, we can't wait until Judgment Day. We don't have that much time. I'll try to ask him if I can help in some way. You should definitely do that. Without a trebuchet, we're much too weak. How are you faring, Sir Raybard? How do you think I'm faring, lad? There's some cutthroat thug lolling about in my bed at the castle. Well, at least no one's raised Talmberg. Not so far. Though we may end up doing it ourselves to smoke the bastard out. I imagine Sir Divish isn't taking it too well. And why do you think he handed command over to me? But it pains my heart, too. That place is my home. What's the easiest way to take back Talmberg? The easiest way? <laughs> Call in the Royal Army and leave it to them. But there's no Royal Army to help us now, and we can't afford to wait. What's more, we don't want to destroy the castle. Personally, I'd like to return to it. Repairing the castle would be expensive. And time-consuming. No trebuchet is wholly on target. The missiles fly as they please. And if we blast the castle to pieces and Sigismund comes back, he'll make short work of us. Do you think Sigismund will come back? How do I know what's in his head? But if he doesn't take advantage of this chaos, someone else probably will. The whole country will know about it soon enough. I'd never have thought so many people were keeping an eye on Talmberg. Like that fellow Havel. Not only Talmberg, and we've left precious few men in Rattai. If we're defeated here, who's to stop them from pillaging the whole province? And there's no shortage of power-hungry bastards like Havel and Toth in Bohemia. Is there some way we can get through the gate? There are steps from the gate up to the walkway on the battlements, and I don't know how Istvan's covering them. Then there's the portcullis to get through. A big battering ram might breach it, but how could you get one that close? I reckon we'll have to set fire to it. We'll stack up brushwood and light it? Brushwood, timber, anything that burns, soaked in as much pitch as possible. The local charcoal burners surely have some. And even if it doesn't burn the gate right down, it'll weaken it and make it easier to break through. Exactly. And what about the walls? Which side is the most vulnerable? The south and east are solid. It would be useless to try anything there. It's best defended from the north, and as for the west... From the west is where we tried it, and got royally fucked, if you recall. But I think in the end we'll try that way again, only this time we'll do it better. Pity they didn't stay holed up in Vranik for longer. It would have been much easier there. Toth is a wily fox. If he'd had all his men with him there, there would have been real carnage. It's likely we only won there because he'd already gone and taken most of his best soldiers with him. Is there anything you can tell me about Talmberg's weak points? <sighs> the truth is, Talmberg has far too few weaknesses. Who'd have thought that was something I'd come to regret? Pity they didn't stay holed up in Vranje. Toth is... Is there anything else I can help with? Well, we need some pitch. I know you had dealings with the charcoal burners. I've met a few, true enough. Then have a look around the area. If you manage to find any pitch, bring it to our quartermaster in the camp at the quarry. See you later. Well, Henry, it cost me a lot of effort. But it seems I've finally succeeded in making a half-decent warrior out of you. Anything I can do for you? Are you wishing you'd stayed home at Ratai instead of joining in our nighttime venture? <laughs> you must be joking! I haven't had so much fun since... actually ever. Really? 
despite being wounded. Actually, you missed the best part. When I was hauling you like a sack of grain to the battlements, dead to the world. It can't have been that much fun if I fell asleep. But you might have handled me a bit more gently. I'm black and blue all over. Oh, all right then. Next time I'll just leave you to Istvan's tender mercies. Nonsense. What would you do without me? Still, thank you for hauling me out of there. Anything for you, my lord. See you later.